Hello everyone and welcome to the tutorial. Today we will be talking about how to perform a sum ifs function in Microsoft Excel 2016. If you saw my previous video on how to perform a VLOOKUP function, you will be very familiar with this data set. It's a very simple sales data set which consists of a PO number, order date, the region, sales representative, sale item, unit sold, unit cost, and the total. And what I would like to get out of this tutorial is I would like to build a simple tool that allows a user to enter in the sales representative, the sale item, the region, and then we get a total. So to accomplish this, we will be using simply just the sum ifs function. Uh, we could go ahead and start in cell J9 and just enter in equals SUMIF. And you'll notice that you have an option of choosing either the sum if or sum ifs. I almost always go with the sum ifs simply because it does not limit you on how many pieces of, of criteria you can use. So just go ahead and hit tab to auto complete that. And we see that we're graded with a bunch of arguments here, right? The first argument is the sum range. Now this just pretty much means uh, which column in your data set would you like us to sum? So in our example, that seems to be the total. So go ahead and just select H2 and hit control shift down on your keyboard. And then we selected our sum range. Next, it's gonna ask us for our criteria range. Now the criteria range is pretty much saying, hey, when you specify the criteria, where do you want us to look in this data set? And for our first piece of criteria, it seems to be the sales representative. So let's just go to D2 and go ahead and hit control shift down to select the entire range. And then it's gonna ask us for the specific criteria. Now mind you, you can always enter in hard code the name Jones or something, but that limits you to Jones and that's not what we wanna do. We want to be dynamic. So let's just go ahead and select where we will be entering the sales representative. So just specify a cell location. Uh, that seems to be J5 for us, okay? And then we could just repeat the same steps for criteria range two and three. Uh, it's gonna ask us our second piece of criteria, uh, where's the range for that? And that is the item, so that seems to be E2, and go ahead and do control shift down to select the entire range and then just specify where you will be entering the uh, item name. And that happens to be J6 for us, okay? And then repeat the same steps for criteria range three. We're interested in the region, so let's just select the region column and then specify the cell location, okay? Now we could go ahead and close off this function and hit enter on your keyboard. And of course we're, uh, we're seeing zero here because our criteria is blank so far. So let's just go ahead and enter some criteria for the sales representative, let's say I'm interested in Jones and he sells pencils. And uh, the region seems to be the East Coast region, right? And we can see that Jones is selling $363.70 worth of pencils in the East Coast region. And if we wanted to do a quick sanity check, we could just do a subtotal and filter for East Jones and pencil, okay? And we see $363.70. So we're in good shape here. Now, the nice thing about this is that it's very dynamic, so maybe I'm not interested in Jones, who sells pencils in the East Coast region. Maybe I'm interested in Morgan, and Morgan sells binders in the Central region, right? So we see that Morgan sells $251.72 of binders in the central region. So that's about it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And just go ahead and comment and tell me what you would like to see next for me. Thank you.